Hey guys, we are at Cedia 2022, checking out some incredible products. I'm here with Chris with Hisense. We're gonna be looking at some TVs, ultra short throws, yep. and an incredible home theater. Chris, thanks for having us out. I'm so glad you guys are here. We're super excited to be at Cedia this year. The last couple of years have been, you know, kind of crazy with the COVID situation. Sure. And it feels really good to be back in the mix with all these awesome companies and Hisense showing up in a big way this year. Big, big booth, and I love the vibe that's here, man. Everybody's excited, like you said, to get yeah. back out, meet face to face, come and touch and physically look and get to demo. That's super exciting for us as well. Yeah, you can hear the music pumping all over the place. The, <laughs> I've seen some massive subwoofers here. I think you've seen some earlier elsewhere we on the show floor. Ones that are like this big, 50 inch subs. Absolutely. You can hear, you can feel it like in your spleen rumbling. Yeah. <laughs> With, the, with all the excitement, it's yeah, buzzing so, here. It's so Chris, cool. tell us what we've got behind us here. So this year, I mean, Hisense is a, a sponsor of the World Cup, the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Nice. And so this is our World Cup activation zone. We're showing a couple of our flagship ULED uh, quantum dot televisions. We've got a U7 and a U8. We're showing quantum dot, full array local dimming TVs, but also new technology, mini LED backlight TVs. Gotcha. And we've got it all kitted out for the World Cup. So just having fun with the sponsorship and showing people what we got. I think that's a great thing because, I mean, part of the home theater hobby, as well as two channel music, is just having fun and enjoying that with other people. So as far as size-wise, like, do you, what ranges do y'all, as far as the smallest to the biggest, maybe? We have TVs anywhere from 32 inches okay. that sell for like 120 bucks, gotcha. all the way up to 85 inch TVs that are pushing a $2,000 price point. Sure. Here on display, we're, this is our ULED lineup. It's our kind of our premium mix. And we're showing two 75 inch TVs. And these are both roughly in the $1,000 to $1,400 range. Wow. So very accessible. Sure. And that's that's really what Hisense's message is, is trying to be. We're bringing the best in TV, te TV technology yeah. and kind of democratizing it, making it available to everyone so we can be the brand of the people. Gotcha. You don't have to overpay to get the features and the specs that you're looking for. You can get them from Hisense and make your dollar go a lot farther. And these TVs look gorgeous, man. I love what I'm seeing. What else you got here at the show? Well, uh, other than our TVs, we've got some commercial displays from our, uh, our commercial display group. So maybe we can take a look at some of those. 138 inch conference room uh, LED video wall, which looks really cool. We've yeah. got some interactive digital boards, again, for maybe uh, education classroom environments. We've also got our full lineup of our laser TVs. Nice. So we've got a 100 inch L5, 120 inch L9, the triple laser flagship. Yeah. And then we've also got a $100,000 home theater room that we built with our PX1 Pro as the centerpiece of the whole solution. So yes. very excited, we got the whole lineup here. So we get a chance to demo that, right? Absolutely. <laughs> That's gonna yeah. be fun, because I love home theater. You guys know how much I love home theater. I love good sound, I love good picture quality. I think we're gonna have some fun here at your booth. So we've got TVs, we've got commercial products, yep. we've also got ultra short throws. You wanna talk about that a little bit? Sure, but before we do that, there's one more thing I gotta tell you about our TVs. Right now, we're running the Hisense 100 day no regrets guarantee. If you buy a 65 inch or larger Google TV from any retailer where you like to shop and you register that purchase, you get to keep it and try it in your home for 100 days. If you don't love it, We'll take it back, no harm, no foul. Look, thanks for doing us a solid, thanks for giving us a try. Wow. But here's the kicker, if you love it, which we know you will, right. you get $100 back in a gift card. So there's some incentive to keep it, and they're gonna love it anyway, so it's kind of a win-win. Absolutely. So really there's no, there's no negative not to buy Hisense. We're, we're throwing the kitchen sink at you. There's no reason not to give us a try. Yeah, well, I appreciate that, because really as consumers, sometimes we don't know. You don't get a chance to get it in your home, and so they're hesitant to, to buy something that's $2,000 or $1,500, because right. that is a lot of money. And so having that guarantee, man, that's super, super cool. I think that you guys are really gonna appreciate that. And let's get real. Vivid mode in the store is not <laughs> how you're gonna watch your TV. That is so true. take it home. Yeah. You know, you might get 14 days at some sure. places. You might get a, you buy it online and it comes and arrives damaged and the whole process is terrible. Yeah. This is easy. Gotcha. You take it home 100 days. Give it a try. I love it, man. So maybe we check out the Ultra Short Throws? Yeah, I'm gonna introduce you to Ken Welty. He's the director of Laser TV for Hisense USA. So Ken, here we are in like a living room setup. Tell us what we've got going on here. So here we have the uh, Hisense 100 L5G. 
Um, this is our 100 inch. We also have it available on 120 inch as well. Um, it is a single laser uh, ultra short throw projector married with an ambient light rejecting screen. And uh, one thing about Hisense uh, laser TVs is, um, and projectors in general, most people think they belong in a basement. Well, it's time to come out of the basement. Um, uh, because of the AOR screen and the ambient light rejecting, it takes all the outside light and it rejects it downward so that you get a great picture even in a, in a very brightly lit ven venue. So that's a great thing about our product. All, most of our competitors really don't promote that, but since we include a screen, we want, we want people to use this as their TV. It's smart, it's got Android TV, it's got Dol uh, Dolby Atmos, it's got uh, 30 watts of power per uh, total watts. Yep. Um, it's also WISA ready, so it's got a lot of great features to make it a TV. Yeah, and I've reviewed some of your projectors, the ultra short throws, and I love them, and you provide a lot of value. And I'm looking at this massive space that we've got. We've got tons of ambient light coming in here. And we've got a beautiful, vivid image, lots of color saturation. I did a poll on my channel and I found out that probably two thirds of my audience, you guys, do not have a dedicated theater room. And so being able to have that big immersive screen in a home or in a living room setup, I think that's a big deal. Yeah, and we, we actually want this to become the consumer's TV set. You know, like replace your 65, your 75, whatever, go up to 100 inches, go up to 120 inches. And for the amount of money that these retail for, the value compared to a panel TV that's a 98 or 100 inch, it's one fifth the price of what a uh, uh, one of our competitors' 100 inches. Yeah. So that makes it great. We're also showing on this um, our new screen, which is a, uh, a daylight screen. It's got a uh, the biggest difference between this and the conventional ambient light rejecting screen is the gain on a, a regular screen is 0.4. Okay. This is 1.0. I got so it's so it's kind it's of extremely neutral. bright. Yeah. It gives you uh, we actually can rate this in nits, which you never find projectors being rated in nits. Gotcha. Um, and you also uh, um, it's it's a new material. It's much harder than what you get on the convent or regular screen. Um, so if you hit it tap it, fingerprints don't get on it. It's uh, much, much more durable than a conventional screen. So we're very excited about this because it does give you an LCD panel look, but you're still using an ultra short throw projector. Yeah, you mentioned about the uh, like touching. That was one of the big concerns with the ALR screens that I've reviewed here on the channel. I noticed when I would touch it, it would leave finger residue and oil on it. And then you got to try to figure out how to clean it without damaging right. it. So that's super cool. And it's kind of hard, right? Can we oh, take a look oh, at that? Sure. Sure. I mean, you have to be very careful, but you could hit this as hard as you want, and it doesn't do anything to the screen, so. That is super, super cool. So for those of you that have like young children, I could see that being huge because you don't want people, you know, your kids touching it and messing with it, but now it's like, okay, we've got screens available that that's not gonna be a big issue anymore. Right. So I love the innovation on that. And actually, another thing as far as kids go, um, all of our projectors have the uh, eye, eye protection. Okay. So if a child goes up to the projector, it automatically shuts off. Super cool. So uh, you certainly don't wanna get LASIK at three years old yeah. uh, with the lasers. Um, so our product does have the eye protection. So you have that and the new screen, so it'd be great for kids. Well, very cool. Well, this theater looks sweet, but we've also got maybe another yep. theater over yep. here. Yep, this is single. Out. We'll go over to the uh, triple laser. All right, let's check it out. So Michael, what we have here is the, uh, the L9 series. This yes. is our triple laser. So if you have independent red, green, and blue lasers, as opposed to the single laser over there, which is just a color wheel. So the biggest benefit of this is the color saturation is gonna be in, in, uh, improved. Um, not to be real technical, but the one of the ratings on this is the BT2020 is 107%. So if you look at the best TV out there right now, it, do, it doesn't matter what brand, Samsung, uh, OLED, doesn't matter. Sure. It's about 84%. This is 107. Nice. So really get great picture quality and great colors. Um, another thing I kind of forgot to talk about on the other screen, and this one as well, is just the viewing angle. Yeah. It's fantastic on this type, it's almost 170 degrees, cool. so you get great viewing angle um, on a huge screen. So, so I was just thinking, that's really good for living room environments because you don't always have just seating correct. right in front. You've got side seating, you've got a couch or a love seat over here. Exactly. So having that off axis, I guess, viewing angle really, really helps. That's super cool to know. Yeah, on a panel TV, the best picture is the guy sitting in front of it. Exactly. Um, so, and when you get up, it starts to degrade. This, you could have a room of 100 people in your room and the picture is gonna look great for everybody. 
So that's a great advantage. So this is uh, the step up features are that it is triple laser. We are showing it on a 120 inch screen. Um, so this is available on 100 and 120 as well. Um, other than that, the feature set is pretty much the same, Dolby Atmos. It's got uh, 20 watts per side as opposed to 15 on the other model. Um, Android TV, this is being upgraded as a firmware upgrade for Dolby Vision. Yeah. So that's an advantage you would have on, on triple laser over the single laser. Um, a little bit sleeker design, but um, again, the biggest difference is gonna be a much bigger, wider uh, color gamut. Um, and then the, the triple laser will give you that color saturation. And we're still talking really affordable, right? Oh yeah, so this is, the triple laser is only $1,500 more at retail than what a, a single laser is. Got but it's still, if you look at a panel TV, a 100 inch panel TV, oh it's still a third the price of what a panel TV yeah. would be. And it's a lot easier to install. You can get it into smaller uh, spaces. You know, like It'd be hard to get a 100 inch TV up an elevator if you had to go up an elevator in, a, yeah. in an apartment. This comes uh, you know, broken down, you build it, it's in your room much easier to put up. Now one thing I'd love to touch on briefly is that you and I were talking kind of off camera that you've got some new technology coming out to be able to put these together even easier. So if you've watched my other videos, we've got these little springs and you've got to do like a yep. hundred springs around this thing. So you're making some advancements even that regard to make it easier for you guys at home to build this and put this together. Yep, not only are we making the better screen that I showed you on the other one, the brighter screen with the 1.0 gain, but also in our next year's models, the frame is not gonna have to be assembled. It's gonna be already assembled. You basically pull it apart and snap it in nice. and it's already built for you. So um, no more springs. All you do is you, you uh, stretch the screen over it and like kind of snap it in without, without springs. I so you're gonna get a tighter screen it's going to look a lot better and it's going to be a lot brighter as well. So that's going to be in our 2023 models, which will start to come out in, in uh, the end of March of next year. I love it, Ken. Well, this is some cool setup for living room, but I hear you've got a, a, a sweet home theater setup with the ultra short throw yep, as we well. Have the, we have the PX1 Pro and uh, that's in our special room, our audio room. So um, we're going to uh, send it over to Chris and Chris is going to help talk about that. I love it. Let's check it out. So Chris, now we're in a dedicated theater and y'all have built an actual physical room here at Cedia right. 2022. And so this is kind of interesting because a lot of times, even myself, I've thought of ultra short throws being really more applicable to a living room setup like we just saw with Ken. Tell us how that could even be beneficial here in a dedicated space. I mean, that that's the way we positioned it in the market, right? Laser TV, it's a TV replacement for your living room. But ultra short throw technology is very versatile. It doesn't just have to go in a living room. You know what? It can be a good upgrade to your traditional dedicated viewing environment. You got a basement or your media room. You throw this thing, uh, an ultra short throw in that room, and this thing, these 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 can sing in a dark room too. Yeah. So that's what we wanted to show here. In the movie. Well, this is a gorgeous image, and so how big of a screen is this? Just to give my viewers a perspective of like how big can you go with these things? Yeah. So we. We have laser TVs and ultra short throw projectors that go anywhere from 80 inches and support up to a 130 inch diagonal. Yeah. Here we're looking at a 120, um, and this is an ambient light rejecting screen. This is the same screen that comes bundled when you buy a high sense laser TV. Gotcha. So the L5 or the L9, this is the screen that you're gonna get. Now in this, in this theater room, we're showing the PX1 Pro, which is um, our laser cinema line. We don't ship it with a screen. Again, the idea is that if you've already got a projector, Maybe it's still a 1080 projector. Maybe it's less than that. Yeah. And you're thinking about, you know, I already married my screen. I've been sure. I've been dating my projector for a while. It's yeah. time to maybe do an upgrade. Get a new <laughs> squeeze. <laughs> yeah, let's get a new squeeze, right? And you want triple laser, yeah. and you want ultra short throw, and the, all the brightness and all the, the goodness that you get from yeah. this technology. That's what this is for. Yeah. And I've reviewed several of the high sense ultra short throws, and they just provide a, again, your whole, like value proposition is just huge. You get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, when you're looking at this, man, I think anybody, any of you guys would be satisfied with that beautiful image, man. That is super, super cool. Now, one thing I want to kind of talk about a little bit is the ultra short throw, I'm sorry, the, um, the ambient light rejection screen. So a lot of people ask me on my channel, you know, do I need an ambient light rejection screen in a dedicated space? Because in this room, this we can get it pitch black. We can darken it out really, really dark. So would that benefit your ultra short throw projector with an ambient light rejection screen, even in one that you don't really necessarily need to reject 
like ambient light from your windows and things like that? The short answer is yes, it absolutely does help. You gotta, you gotta remember, the ultra short throw projector is placed maybe a foot from the wall. Yeah. So the light that's beaming out of that thing is coming at this really weird angle. Mm -hmm. Now, the lenticular surface of an ambient light rejecting screen has the geometry, the sawtooth geometry, that's really good at catching the light coming from that weird angle right. and bouncing it out directly at eye level out to the viewers. So if you've got some other screen, maybe using an AT screen and you got your, your whole wall of speakers and everything, sure. it's still going to probably look great right. if you can black out that room. Sure. But what you don't know is how is that light going to bounce. Gotcha. Most of the time, it's going to try to bounce at a 90 degree angle. Correct. Angle you, of incidence, angle of reflection is probably going to be bouncing. A lot of that's going to be hitting your ceiling. Right. So, I mean, there's, well, there's always things you can do to try to mitigate that. Sure. But honestly, an ALR screen is going to give you the best viewing experience with, an, with a UST. And that's good information to know. Like I said, that, I get a lot of questions about that. Should I do an ALR because I'm putting it in a dedicated room? But that is super cool that you can take. Now, this is not a cheap home theater that you've built either. So no. we were talking budget of yours, right. but this is an expensive home theater. Tell us a little bit about that. Not necessarily the components, but like, what are we standing in here? Yeah, I mean, so the PX1 Pro, $3,000 street price, yeah. give or take. And, uh, but we're in this $100,000 theater room that we built. Yeah. This is a 20 by 20 by 12 space. Yeah. And uh, we've got 16 channels of audio. We've got Kaleidoscape Media Player. We've yeah. got Trinov running our electronics. We've got super high-end cables. Cables, I didn't even know there were cables that can cost $2,000, yes, but they sir. do. And much more. And, <laughs> and then we've more. got the acoustic treatments and then all the incredible engineering and the uh, calibration yeah. that went into this space. Sure. It's incredible and phenomenal. I can't, I can't name drop the people because yeah, yeah. I don't know them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but the people that have come in here to, to help build yeah. this thing are the best of the best. And, That's pretty awesome. And here, Hisense is hanging with them. And yeah. you know what? For a relatively new brand in the U.S., we've just been here for a decade, it's really cool to be able to show that we've got a product that can hang with the best of the best. Very cool. Well, we've seen some really cool stuff. You've got TVs, ultra short throws. Hope you guys will check out Hisense's, all of the videos that I've done on my channel. So we've got a lot of more great content coming your way from Cedia 2022. Chris, it's been a pleasure. Likewise. Guys, we'll catch you in the next video.